innovation challenge that we are uh, undertaking as part of professionalizing the Africa Border Center project is to actually um, identify the local innovations, various local innovations, amazing innovations in Africa borderlands, uh, actually by women and uh, youth, identify them, uh, scale them up, experiment them, curate them, then uh, actually scale them up so that they can be the source of uh, livelihood and of course uh, very important for the youth employment. So this is why we are financing the Innovation Challenge uh, 2021. African Borderlands Center is crafted and pillared on two key principles. Number one, thinking better, and number two, doing better. Any innovation that ABC is engaged with is founded on co-creation, that people are important, data is important, and technology is important as well. Most importantly, if the people who are going to live with this outcome or solutions are involved from the creation aspect, then it means it's possible to replicate and scale up these innovations. It is predicted that in 2030, youth will make up 75% of the world's population. That on its own is the first indicator of why the role of youth in borderland regions needs to be cemented. Young people being highly innovative and creative can positively contribute to the growth and success of borderland communities in the trade space, especially considering the competitive edge that comes with the use of technology and the need to increase efficiency for the purposes of development, for the purposes of socioeconomic and trade purposes. The exclusion of young people means that these communities are deprived of technical knowledge, intersectional practices, broad considerations of the impact of the fourth industrial revolution and climate change. This on its own can be detrimental to the progress that we can see in borderland communities across the African region. It is well within this, the role of young people is valuable. Civil society can shape the reimagination of Africa by focusing on three very important things. The first is narrative. The narrative about Africa is changed by telling those stories of the continent of people making change happen. Civil society works daily with people at the core face of transformation and innovation. It works with young people, it works with women and folks that live in borderlands. Number two, civil society can contribute to the reimagination of the continent by supporting the use of data and evidence in order to create new realities. Uh, imagination is a territory of contestation and struggle in as much as history is a territory of contestation and struggle. A civil society is able to stimulate imagination of what is possible when people come together, what is possible when you form partnerships between governments, uh, those in the private sector and other stakeholders in order to create not just solutions uh, for Africa but solutions for the rest of the world. The third thing that civil society can do in the reimagination of Africa is building the human essence, the self-confidence and self-belief of Africans. Technology and other tools cannot transform people whose mindsets and whose sense of self has been battered by many years of dehumanization. So the rebuilding of the African is very important. Like uh, one poet once said, why do we build the cities glorious if in building the builder remains unbuilt? What do we intend to do with the, the innovation is first to influence disruptive thinking in a bigger geographical space. 
The borderland communities have engaged in innovation, not necessarily with the use of technology. I've also been critical to improving food security and to improving the GDP of African countries. In spite of all the challenges of war, of crisis, they have moved money across the borders without uh, being excessively impacted by the security challenges. They have also engaged in pooling resources using traditional methods of uh, resource mobilization. And these methods have proven to work, has proven to work basically because of very high social trust, uh, social capital, as well as um, that social cohesion uh, between and among the communities.